Hi, I'm Frida Kahlo. Miss Naomi's not here today, so I'm here to talk about me. I was born July 6, 1907 in Mexico City. Originally, I loved to draw, but I was not going to become an artist. My dreams were become, to become a doctor. As I started going to school and taking the bus to school when I was older, I got in a bus accident, a real bad one, and I was stuck in bed for three months. So the only way I could express myself was by painting. I painted all about me, my self-portraits, how I felt about the bus accident. As I started healing, I actually went on an adventure to find a famous Mexican artist. His name was Diego Rivera. He was known for a lot of the murals in Mexico. I asked Diego, am I good enough to become an artist? Diego loved my work. We built a relationship and eventually got married. Diego was famous for his artwork. I was famous for my artwork. Diego got even invited to America, to San Francisco, to paint a mural. I was excited at first, but as time went by, we were there for three years between San Francisco and New York, and I did not like America. I was just homesick and I wanted to come back to my country. So I begged Diego if we could come back. Diego agreed. So when I came back, I painted more self-portraits of myself and I painted portraits of America, self-portraits of me in America. And I was not happy, but I overcame as I was back into my country. I was known for being a strong woman and loving art and expressing myself. I passed away at the age of 47 in 1954. But people still are inspired by my work, by my self-portrait, and by my self-expression. They love that I express myself and my feelings. So today we're going to paint a portrait about me. Let's get started. This is the things that you will need or need to have. A pencil, a box of crayons, colored pencils, a pen or a sharpie. So now, we are going to create a self-portrait of myself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make our paper into four sections. You're going to grab each end and you're going to touch corner to corner so you can fold your paper in half. Alright, there's my paper, corner to corner. Then you're going to flip it and you're going to do the same thing. We're going to touch corner to corner. All right, here we go. Look, now I have one, two, three, four. I have four sections, and instead of drawing line guidelines, we're going to use the lines that we have folded our paper in. Now, you do not have to do this in Sharpie. I'm gonna do it in Sharpie so you can see it. I would suggest doing it in pencil, but if you do not have a pencil and you have a pen or a Sharpie, that's fine. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we, are going to create the face of my portrait. So you're going to not start all the way up here because we're going to have to draw some of my hair up here. So I'm going to come kind of uh, right about maybe there. Okay, so kind of in the middle. I'm going to create a curve and I'm going to create another curve. All right, so then I have two curves. It kind of looks like my, my unibrow, but it isn't. Then I'm going to create the rest of my face. And what I'm going to do is kind of make like a U, connecting both lines together. Now I need to create the neck. So I'm going to... Now, my neck... I my, my self-portrait here. You see how my self-portrait, my neck is not huge, but I want to make sure that it's the right proportion. So I'm going to not make it here so it lines. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. So we're going to go in right here and in right here. Because we have to make sure that, you know, we kind of show some space and we show that I have my head here and my neck's here and we have its proportion. Now I'm going to create the necklace that I loved wearing jewelry. 
So we're going to create circles. And when you create these circles, you're kind of creating kind of like a smiley face as you connect them together. Or a smile, sorry, not a smiley face. See, it makes the mouth of a smile there. And now we have to create the rest of my neck. So we got to make sure that we don't put the neck here so it, does, it looks weird. We want to make sure that it flows with the rest of our line. So we're going to do our neck like this and the neck like this. All right. Now, obviously I have some room here and I didn't take it all the way down. So we could probably make kind of like flowers or a dress or or uh, something else. We'll, we'll handle that in a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create my ears and the top of my head. Now, we don't, we want to make sure that our ears are in the right location because you want to make sure that your ears are not down here. You want to make sure you judge it just right because you do not want your ears down here and you make your face here. Look at all this forehead that you have. Now when you look at yourself in the mirror, your ears are higher up. So now you want to make, we want to create our ears. As you can see my ears on me, they're not down here by my neck. They're higher up. They're kind of parallel with my eyes if you really come down to it. You want to make sure your ears look balanced and it's all unified together. Because like I said, you want to make sure your ears are up here, closer to here than down here. So. And we're going to create the ears and the hair, the headline, the hair, hair side, sorry. So we want to create an ear here. And we want to create an ear here. Now I'm going to do the head. Alright, so here we go. We're going to take it and we're going to curve it up like this. I'm going to take it and curve it up like this. So I already started creating my hair, my ears. Now we're going to create flowers on her head. So the way that they created flowers on here is on my head, on my self-portrait, is they created circles, different shapes. And we can have little circles. big circles. Yeah, I went over a little bit. It's okay. And we're going to create the flowers, the center of our flowers. Let's create one more here. Let's do another one here. All right. So we've created our, my flowers for my head. Now we're going to create our my eyes. Yeah, this is going to be, you're like, what? How do I want to do this? So we're going to do it step by step and we want to make sure that it's proportional, it's proportioned the right way. As you can look at yourself in the mirror, you see where your eyes and your ears line up. So I'm going to create her eyes right about here. So first thing I want to do is we're going to start with an arch and an arch. So I have two arches. That's actually the beginning of my eyes. And then I'm going to connect my eyes like this. So there are my eyes. 
Now, if you look at a human's eyes, they're not a full circle. They're kind of, the lids kind of go over it a little bit. So we're going to create her eyes, and it's going to be half of a circle here, half of a circle here, and then we're going to have the pupil. Right now, she is known for her famous eyebrows. As you can see, I have eyebrows. I am known for my famous eyebrows. Eyebrows. So we're going to create my eyebrows. Here we go. We're going to connect. And connect. Then I'm going to create my nose. I'm going to start from here. Now we don't want to make my nose up here, so I want to bring it down just a little bit. And I'm going to create kind of like an L with a little hook there. Now we're going to create her lips. Now her lips, you don't want them too far up because then you're going to have lips right underneath her, her nose. So you want to make sure you give some space. So we're going to add a little wave to it here at the bottom. I'm going to curve it just a little bit. Now, as you can see, I have created a portrait of myself. And as long as you try, it's okay. Now you're going to have to fill this in by coloring it. So, I'm actually going to use my crayons to create my self-portrait. The color I'm going to use is, I'm going to use this apricot color to create the skin tone. Remember, we want to make sure that we stay within the lines and we use good craftsmanship. We're going to color it inside the area here. Make sure you color one direction. If you're going to color a different direction, you're allowed to change it up. Remember, you can change it up. You just make sure that if you have good craftsmanship, it will show that you are coloring the right way. So I'm going to... my hair, the flowers, my unibrow, that is what I'm known for, my necklace, I've made my neck longer. So, thank you to Art with Miss Naomi. I know Miss Naomi wasn't here today, but I, Frida Kahlo, got to teach art to you wonderful students. I hope you had fun and can't wait to see you again in the future. Bye!